to entertain y'all. Are they, are they ready? Are they ready? A couple more minutes, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, man, make sure y'all check out my new uh, up and coming episodes of the Upshaws. Y'all seen the Upshaws? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No filming the show. Cut them lights off. I see the phone on. Cut it off. That's how the nigga Shannon Sharp caught me slipping that time. <laughs> Nigga seen that video. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Man, I woke up the next morning and seen that nigga say, let me tell you something, Mofo. I'ma tell you something, nigga. Say to my face me. I said, oh. And he got mad because I said I was gonna shoot him. Nigga, I can't beat you. <laughs> I know who I can beat and who I can't. I kick Kevin Hart. <laughs> I'm not fighting no nigga to go to the gym all the time. I smoke blunts and all kinds of shit. As soon as I seen Shannon Sharp, it was all love. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's what happens when you, you know, when you, when you a real black man and you mature, you got kids, you got grandkids, and you believe in God, man, even when somebody threaten you and, and they get really, really down to the nitty gritty, the nitty gritty, you still love another black man, no matter what. You know, I apologize to him because I called him Medea and all kinds of Still that nigga wanted to kill me. He's gonna get you. He said, yeah, but you, but you call me Madea. You call me Madea. <laughs> Man, I went to hug that nigga. I felt him. I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> but I had that pistol in my pocket. <laughs> Just in case it went wrong. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And of course, that nigga Mike Epps, just like any other comedian, any type of material or anything they got going on, bro, they most definitely going to bring it to the stage with them. And we just seen last week where it seemed like it was going to get active and real between Shannon Sharp and Mike Epps online. We heard what that nigga Shannon Sharp said, hey, nigga, I'm going to pull up on you. Then Mike Epps was like, nigga, I ain't doing no fighting and everything like that. But eventually they got on the phone. Decided to link up and talk, took a picture together and everything. Mike Epps decided to go out this weekend. He had a stand up show out there. It was in his hometown for the All Star, and he decided to take it to the stage. That nigga said, Hey, nigga, I hugged that nigga Shannon. Like, nigga, I can't fight this big nigga. Said, Hey, nigga, I had that pistol on me too, just in case, nigga, just in case. And he told the people in the beginning, Hey, man, stop recording the show, nigga. Y'all the reasons that nigga Shannon caught me slipping. And I do got to say this, when uh, the comedians are on stage that it is a situation where they looking like I'm here to entertain these people in the building. It ain't really for the whole entire world to see. It's just for the people right here in the moment. But we are in the age of information. They tell people to put their phones up and stuff like that. Somebody go sneak the footage just like they did for this one right here. And even though he joking and turning up, it can get taken a certain way. But that nigga said it sharp, as I said before, he is a part of comedy in this moment. The interview with Cat Williams that shook up the whole 2024. The he didn't brought up multiple comedians on, and this is how they gonna do. So it's gonna be more and more and more. The more and more comedians you have on, the more and more they gonna try to use you for material and things like that. But Shannon Sharp say he ain't responding no more. And you could clearly tell that Mike Epps is being lighthearted right here. And he said the realest thing ever, bro. 
Hey, man, I apologize. And shit, we all black men, bro. We settled that hug. It's all good, bro. And that's what it's all about, man. He said, hey, it's all about keeping it that way, dog. Instead of niggas taking it to that level, to the point of no return and things of that nature. And he said, even when it get that low. So I like the message that he really put out there to everybody in the world because we is caught up in this 2024 mindset. Get it all off your chest, loud and pride. And as I told y'all in the beginning, all capital C's, my nigga. We talking clout, we talking chaos, confusion, conflict, and confrontation. Leading 2024 right now. But we shall see. Tell me what y'all think. Shout out to Mike Epps, shout out to Shannon Sharp for squashing that. We got more coming, more videos, all that 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.